Hello! In this video, we will be exploring parabolas on the TI Inspire CX family. Let's start by choosing number one, New Document, and choosing number two, Add Graphs. For our example, let's find the following for y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Let's find the roots or zeros, the minimum or maximum, and the axis of symmetry. In F1 of X, we'll type in X squared minus 2X minus 3. When we press enter, we see the graph of F1 of X equals X squared minus 2X minus 3. You can go to menu and you could select number 6, analyze graph. In that menu I see zeros. The zero tool allows you to trap a zero between two vertical lines. Press enter, press enter. Now you have to repeat this process by going back to menu, back to number six analyze graph and choosing number one zero. This time trap the other zero between the two vertical lines. So I can see the zeros are at negative one zero and three zero. Next I want to find the minimum for this function. Going to menu and choosing analyze graph I see minimum is option two in this menu. I have my vertical line which says lower bound so I can press enter and now it changes to upper bound. When I press enter again the minimum value trapped between those bounds is 1 negative 4. Finally I want to find the axis of symmetry for f1 of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. When I go to Menu and I choose number 6, Analyze Graph, number 8, Analyze Conics, has option 4, Axis of Symmetry. Select it and then at any point along the graph of F1 of X, press Enter and you will see x equals 1 is your axis of symmetry. Here's a tip to save time and be more efficient on the TI Inspire CX. Let's start by control escape and let's undo all the things that we've added to our graph. Now let's go to menu. Let's select number 5 trace. Let's select number one, graph trace. We can now trace the function and it will find all points of interest along the graph. If we want to have these points remain, press enter while you trace along the graph and those points will be plotted and labeled. One tool to find the zeros and the max or minimum. 